Deputies hope some new clues will lead them to the person behind a deadly hit and run. CBS 4's Gary Nelson is live near Fort Lauderdale where deputies just showed off parts of the suspect's vehicle. Gary. Well, this uh, victim of this hit and run would have survived injuries inflicted by the first car that hit him, but the coroner ruled the second car that hit him inflicted the fatal injuries, caused the fatal damage, and that is the driver that kept on going. Broward traffic homicide investigators put pieces of debris from a killer hit and run car on display in hopes of finding the driver. September 22nd, about 8 p.m., a bicyclist was crossing North Federal Highway in Pompano and was hit by a car that knocked him off his bike. That driver stopped. But a second car, a Toyota like this one, also hit 55 year old Alvin Tubbs. Tubbs' fatal injuries were inflicted by the second car that kept on going. He was actually getting or in attempting to get up uh, after being struck the first time when he was struck by the second vehicle. Witnesses said the driver of the second car stopped, opened his door, looked back, and then took off. Police are looking for a Toyota Corolla, metallic beige in color, a 2003 to 2008 model that will have damage to its left front. I misspoke. This accident occurred actually in the 3300 block of North Dixie Highway in Pompano Beach. Tubbs, the victim, was a husband and father. If you can help find that Toyota and its driver, the number to call Crime Stoppers 954 493 tips, you can collect a reward of up to $3,000. For now, we're live at Broward Sheriff's Office headquarters. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.